Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're back checking out the dwarf with the massive hammer. And this guy, I need some better players to find it with him. I am struggling personally to even do like 600 level enemies on the guild trials with him. I am just, I find that he's just not surviving for me. His kit reads like it has a lot of mitigation and CC. It could be that I'm not bringing the right teams. I just, I've tried a lot and I'm really struggling. So we're going to jump in and check out what Rockstar, absolute legend from the test server guild has done to have a look. Now, people always ask me to go through artifacts. There's no quick little button to go through artifacts. So I have to long press all of them. And let's face it, everyone's just doing it so they can copy the teams and get there. This is a good enough one. <laughs> We're just going to look at it like this. So I want to take a look at the teams. Now, this team makes kind of... When we look at this team, it makes sense because we've got Awakened Baden. That's because the Cecilia on the enemy team just one-shots whatever you put there. You put Baden there and you get away with it. The rest is just wilder support. Um, obviously, we've got Navanthi who then supports both the Awakened heroes really well. And then we've got Floppy for the grouping that's going to then help our big dwarf Hammerman to CC more. And that's essentially the way this team works. So let's jump in, we'll hit play, we'll put it on one time speed and take a look. Um, but essentially the floppy jumps in, groups them up, and now when our when we smash our hammer and stuff, you can see we actually only got the Odin with that one anyway. Are we getting any group CCs with it? So there's a group CC solid. I, was that floppy or him? I think it was him. But essentially like this is just a solid team in itself so i don't think it's exactly that he is offering the most to the team we do get the knockups there as well so you know with the mitigation along with the cc maybe it's working a bit better than than i i've been testing myself but like i said i was trying to like you know 600 to 615 uh with the enemy levels and i was just super struggling so let's take a look at the next team that we've got to hear from rockstar and once again this team you know you, you i don't I dare say he doesn't offer much. We've got Kazard <laughs> with with Da Vinci and Mulan. Um, Mulan gets the early CC so that Da Vinci can ramp up. Then Da Vinci just changed CCs for the rest of the days. And that's pretty much it. When we look at the enemy team, the only threat in this team is going to be the creepy hand lady. But our Mulan, Mulan stops her. So with this enemy team, they got no outs to the CC as soon as we CC them. So once again, I don't think Dwarf Hammer Man is really doing too much. So you can see Mulan CCs are creepy hand lady instantly. And creepy hand lady, I don't think, unless I'm wrong, she is not going to get to use her like um, invade someone's space ability, and then we're and, th and now we're framed. So now that we're framed, I, I dare say we're pretty much good for the rest of the fight. Uh, there shouldn't be too much else that really happens. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty much it. We got we got we got a bunch of frames on screen, and no way for them to come out of the frames, and we just we just slowly wear them down essentially. So that's um. Yeah, he, he ain't offering too much to that team in that circumstance. But, uh, you know, solid placement, solid team. Like, honestly, it just this is just a perfect example of choosing the right team for the right enemy. It's an enemy team that has no outs to CC. You just CC them whole, the whole battle, and it doesn't matter what happens after that. The Mulan, the Da Vinci, and the Khazard were the main things there. Uh, you know, Brutus off it a little bit because you don't get sniped by the uh, Entendre, but yeah. Essentially, that's what we're looking at in that team. Let's jump into this team. Um, I mean, he's even in the back row. <laughs> he's even in the back row here. So let's jump in. Take, dude, I love Rem so much. I love Rem so much. All right, so let's jump in. Boom. He does his little lunge in. I mean, he does get a little bit of CC off. Not going to lie. I, I do think... Wait, I do think in this team he does offer some because the mitigation... And the CC is what we do need for Rem to start to do her thing. Um, so I do I do think in this case, he does offer some. Also, he offers a bit of extra damage as well. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like so far, this is the team where he's actually offered the most uh, to the team in general. Let me know what you guys think. But you know, pretty, pretty solid team all around. But in general, I think this is definitely the team where he offers the most. Um, dude, I love Rem so much. I just, 
I just absolutely love Ram. Uh, that is that one. You get the gist. Let's move on into the next one. Take a look at what we're looking at. Uh, so this one, we're going into a five pool with Amelia. Not too bad. I do like this. And then obviously we've got the link. Now I do think in the five pool and the floppy teams, this is where he has some really solid synergy. Once again, because of his you know, narrow AOE CC that he brings. Also, the mitigation in a five pool is a very important thing as well. So I, I do think this kind of team, he does work pretty well in um, just for that purpose. But I, I feel like in exact situation, I don't think he's always going to be like best in slot for it. But I do think if you had to pick teams for him, it'd be the floppy where you're grouping them up or the five pool where you're grouping them up because it does give him a lot of chance to maximize on that CC capability that he does have um, to be able to lock out any team. So yeah, this is definitely um, something where we can use him. I'm just struggling to see uh, how he can fit into teams that aren't already solid teams with other units. Maybe he's like the niche tech unit for certain teams, but that's just my early thoughts. Hopefully when we get to global, we see some people absolutely dominate with him and he has a lot more uses, but that's just what I'm saying. Also on the test server here, haven't seen him in any of the boss fights, Cursed Realm or anything like that. Um, so I haven't seen him get any usage there either. Let's go over here uh, and jump to this one. Um, I mean, he does offer the five piece bonus in this. We've got no grouping. He's in the back row behind an owner. I wonder how he works here. So he's obviously going to lunge. So let's see. Oh, okay. Honestly, I think there he was used um, because Morrow normally one shot something. So he actually survived the Morrow one shot, which is quite admirable. So that's, he was used for that purpose. Not too bad. Normally you have to put something there to deal with Morrow's first attack to the enemy opposite him. So that was the placement there. So not too bad, honestly. Get some use out of that. Once again, in in like the previous characters, we were seeing like people fought doing this with enemies at level 700 and stuff where the units were actually offering a lot to it. I just don't see that happening with this guy, but I could be wrong. But I just wanted to show you guys some results, some, some teams that, you know, he can work in. But um, let me know if you guys are excited for this guy or if you have any ideas that I haven't thought of because I spent about two hours testing him in the guild trials and I just could not clear the guild trials at level 600 enemies or above. Um, so, so we had to default to Rockstar for some advice on this one. But that is going to be it for the Dwarf Hammer Man. Like I said, still early days. I'll keep you guys updated if I do see him in any Cursed Realm formations or anything like that. Um, maybe he'll see some usage, but I just haven't seen anything from him yet. Still early days on the test server. We'll have to wait for global but anyway guys that is going to be it for this one thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers